Hey guys, Koty Games here. Welcome back to my channel. We're back with another Idol Heroes video where we're going to push a couple of more stages in Void campaign. So let's begin. I was having some issues with this stage, I'm not gonna lie, and that was mainly because of Kerry. She was draining my energy and also once Russell goes in the air, usually he's killing at least one or two heroes from my team. So again for this stage I had to run one Splendid and one Radiant Snowheart because I wanted to be faster than Kerry so round 2 Jara can do an active before she gets energy drained from Kerry. Of course we have Asmodel also who is lowering the speed of the back row but if Kerry was in the front row uh, I think that we were going to have a lot of issues with this stage. So for this stage again we had to run two snow hearts, one splendid and one radiant. We had to put three splendid demon bells, one on fairy queen Vesa, one on Freya and one on Aspen and of course Jara was running splendid Rui and she is also our main householder so she can outspeed Kerry. So in round 10 we are 5 against 1 but we're going to lose this fight because we cannot CC Eloise and her counter attacks are going to kill us. So now let's see the winning fight and what exactly is going to happen in order for us to win. You can see that Kerry goes first even though we are running two snow hearts, she's draining the energy on Fairy Queen Vesa but we have as model so Jara will go first in round 2 and she's going to CC everyone. Now Russell breaks free from the CC and you're going to see that he's going to one shot two of our heroes but in the end we're going to win this fight even with four heroes. So Fairy Queen Vesa and Halora are down but Jara is going to save the day with a couple of huge actives here. So that was the winning fight, now let's check the artifacts and the enables on our heroes. As I mentioned earlier we had to run Mark Purify on most of our heroes so even if Kerry breaks free from the CC you're not gonna die from her active. Other than that you just need to go first in round 2 with your Jara and hopefully you can CC Kerry and Russell. If Russell does an active once again he's going to kill at least one or two of your heroes. So now let's check the next stage 3-3-5 where we have five or six trans heroes. So actually guys this is the winning fight, we've got some luck here and we were able to CC Halora in round one. As you know SFX is attacking your lowest HP hero, in our case I've decided to make 
Aspen Bait so he is with the lowest HP and also he is running Magic Stone Sword. But since we were able to CC Halora in round 1, Yuz did a basic attack, she did us a favor and she lowered the HP on Asmodo, so in round 1 Asmodo was the lowest HP hero in our team, SFX went after Asmodo and she didn't kill him because he's running a splendid crown, so we were able to survive round 1 without any casualties. As you can see we were able to CC everyone and once we get enough shields from Freya, Fairy Queen Vesa and from the Lion Pet we can survive even if some of the enemies breaks free from the CC. For this stage there is no need to run Snow Hearts, Jaro with Rui is faster than the enemies, I think we have only two splendid Demon Bells on. Fairy Queen Vesa and Freya, as I mentioned Aspen is a bait, he is the lowest HP hero in our team with Magic Stone Sword and the front row Halora and Asmodo are running splendid crowns. And since we have Halora, Star Alchemist, Home Young and Eos in the enemy lineup we had to run Dot Purify on all of our heroes. Two splendid demon bells, two crowns and magic stone sword are enough for this stage, you don't have to run any snow hearts. Our lowest HP hero is Aspen, so he was the bait for SFX. Subscribe motherfucker! And we're going to use the same setup for the next stage where we have 4 assassins, they're going to attack your lowest HP hero, Aspen actually is surviving pretty well with the magic stone sword. And even if someone breaks free from the CC, we're running 2 splendid crowns on Halora and on Asmodo so we can survive the attacks. I didn't even change the enables on our heroes, we're still running Dot Purify because of the bleed from Ithaqua, but Saja can actually uh, stun you, so maybe it will be better if you run CC Purify. So stage 3-3-6 actually is not that difficult guys, and that's it for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, bye bye for now guys.